in Myanmar when it comes to business, Serge Han is almost legendary. From founding one of Myanmar's first public companies in 1992 to building an empire that's regarded as one of the leading companies in the country, his colorful, bumpy road to riches is the stuff of inspiration. You do the right thing, you build up trust, you honor what you say, and money will follow you. With businesses from real estate to banking to retail to solar energy, Pan is powering ahead despite the pandemic. Overall, Myanmar has been spared quite a bit. We have had a few spikes, but uh, so far it's well contained and uh, the government is doing a great deal to contain it. The native of Yangon took early steps to lend a helping hand. We started actually in February uh, way before it became very serious, uh, to realize that there is a problem with um, loan borrowers, uh, particularly SMEs, um, having the ability to repay on time uh, because of the sudden drop of their revenues and so forth. So um, in February, we offered uh, all our SME borrowers um, a holiday in terms of principal repayment and that was then extended after three months. COVID-19 is dealing a severe blow to Myanmar's economy. The World Bank projects growth to drop to 0.5% in 2020, from 6.8% the year before. COVID has sort of done one thing to all of us, and that I think is across the board to all corporations, as well as individuals. And that is, it has compelled us to, to think again what we're doing, okay? Whether we're doing it the right way, uh, whether we can improve things, and particularly in some areas where I think the threat of survival, existential sort of threat is so uh, prevalent and is right at your face, uh, it prompts you to actually take actions. And that's what we did. So in that sense, that again prompted us to look at cash flows very seriously. Uh, but what we did, I think, which I'm very happy with, is that we actually concentrated more on um, increasing revenue, on finding different ways to, to up our revenue stream. And that actually is very gratifying because we actually discovered many ways of increasing revenue, making more sales. So the pandemic has forced you to be more innovative, more creative as a result? Definitely, definitely. I think that's a silver lining, as they call it. In terms of economic reforms, one of the areas the government is trying to fix is the energy sector, inviting tenders recently for solar power projects. Uh, as part of Yoma Micropower, you yourself have built 250 mini solar plants within the country, some of the off-grid rural areas. As part of the private sector, what role do you see yourself playing in helping the government solve the country's power shortage problems? Well, when we do something, we always hope that we'll do it right, we'll do good, and we, we become uh, the number one, number two of the industry. Uh, that has always been the sort of guiding policy of our businesses. So if you're asking me how big a player we want to be, yes, we want to be a major player in the solar and uh, renewable energy sector. The mission is very clear and we will continue to roll out um, as, many, as many as 2,500 uh, mini solar plants, um, it, mostly off-grid uh, in the coming year. And that's a 10 times uh, goal. We did 250 last year and we're hoping to do 2,000 plus this year, so that going 12 months from now. So um, it's a very ambitious plan, but we believe we have these uh, adequate capital and the adequate uh, human resource as well as technology backup to accomplish that. 